When I talked to the producer, he said that uh, he hadn't actually hadn't seen any of your work prior, so you just went in for a conversation. So what was that first meeting like when you talked to Louis and? Um, well, I hadn't seen any of his work either. So, uh, but I'd seen Louis, and basically the idea was, Louis gave me a pitch on how he wanted to create this world. I gave him a spin on how I wanted to create Perseus, and um, you know we saw eye to eye, and they gave me the job. I'm really surprised because the original Clash of the Titans is a little bit of a camp classic, but yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. But like you know, to 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 look at this version, which is not camp at all, and it's extremely, uh, you know, maybe I think that's the trick. I think you know, there's no point doing a, a remake or. A, or you know, uh, whatever they call them, reboots, you know, and without seeing if we can advance not only the story but the effects. Hands down, you know, that, that stop motion for its time was sensational, but now we've got CG that can, can elevate it. Um, and also, you know, we thought that, you know, we could add something a bit more, but give, give the story a bit more grunt, to be honest, and especially Perseus. To be in a film where uh, you're traveling to so many different places, what have you kind of experienced so far and, and, and any good stories from? Um, we went to Tenerife, which is a bit like going to the moon, um, in the sense of the, you know, it's, it is a volcanic island. Um, it's a t terribly unique experience because you're filming above the clouds. Um, people will look at it and think it's CG when actually it's reality. Um, and the good thing about doing a movie like this is in not on a green screen is that it, it, it gives it a, a realism that hopefully then the audience can believe that this mission and this journey, it, they can invest a bit more into it. My last question then, um, you, you know, Russell Crowe is also another f actor that did a film where he wore uh -huh. the outfits. Do you feel this kind of, I don't know, kind of pressure to kind of take no, I think role? it must be in a, every uh, Australian actor's contract that one time they have to put on a dress and hold a sword. Um, I think it's the rest of the world trying to, you know, unbutch us a bit. Um, you know, because, you know, Mel did it in Braveheart, Russell did it with Gladiator. You know, I said, well, give me a go.